guys, Eric Janicki back here with another video. So today I'm coming to you with the best home exercise equipment that you can buy bang for your buck. So I know a lot of you guys are stuck at home working out, quarantine, we built out a whole gym here. So I wanna run through, because this is a question I get a lot, the best home equipment that you can buy. Remember to go subscribe to this page and without further ado, let's get into it. All right guys, first one is resistance bands. I know they're not the most exciting, but they are extremely lightweight. You can travel with them. They're extremely inexpensive. You can use a door anchor. You do a pull movement or do a bicep curl. There's a lot you can do with them with very minimal space and very minimal budget. So it's always my first go-to. Like if this is the, if you have one thing you can buy, even over adjustable dumbbells or small dumbbells, I would go with resistance bands because there's a lot of different tension you can get, different angles you can hit with them that you can't hit necessarily with a dumbbell. Um, and also just the fact that they do provide a lot of tension. If you get really strong bands like this loop band or this is a purple one, but you can get even heavier loop bands than this and clip a handle on there, you can get a lot of tension with these bands, especially if you couple them up two at a time, three at a time. So. That would be my recommendation to start. It's very inexpensive. I know a good set of door bands is gonna be like $20, $25. Um, and then these loop bands are they're $30 for a whole set of them. So you can get a lot done with just that. All right guys, second piece of equipment, very minimally expensive. I think sub $100 is a TRX. It's been a while since I bought this, but it's, a, it's really great because you can do a lot of movements on it. Obviously it's got the door anchor, so you can do a lot of pulling movements. It's really great for, so like, a ro like rowing movements, or flying movements, it's really good for, for chest, bicep curls, you can do, there's I mean, hundreds of exercises you can do on TRX, and it's really great because, again, super lightweight, pack it with you wherever you go, inexpensive, it's not gonna replace a full gym, nothing ever is, but I'm trying to give you guys the best home gym experience, so, for example, for just some bands and a TRX, you're spending maybe $150, and if you're using that for three, four, five months, it's gonna be more than worth it. And something you can pack with you on the road, you can use for the rest of your life. This is never gonna go bad. You can always keep it in your bag and it's great for a ton of different workouts on the road, on vacation. So that's my second choice. All right, third thing guys, this is we're getting a little bit higher in the price range. I'm looking at adjustable dumbbells. So these are great because they're minimally invasive space-wise. So this set of adjustable dumbbells go up to 75 pounds. If you can imagine how much space a weight rack takes up for between five and 75 pounds going up by five pound increments is a lot of space. So this saves you a lot. Obviously, ergonomically, they're not as sustainable as, let's say, those ones over there, but what I like about them is, like I said, they're very space efficient, they're less expensive. If you're gonna buy a whole rack of weights up to 80 pounds, you'd be surprised it's three, $5,000 for a nice quality set of weights, whereas these were about $600, $700. They go all over 75 pounds. So with that, I would also would like you to get a bench because if you're gonna get a set of dumbbells, you might as well get a $150 bench with it. It'll allow you a lot more variation when it comes to pressing movements, when it comes to back, like rowing movements, things of that nature. So definitely would recommend getting a bench alongside it. Also, it's great for legs too. If you're gonna do, use, if you're gonna get the dumbbells, you can do a lot more like split squats, things of that nature. Um, if you have a bench, it's pretty inexpensive. So these two together would be my third choice for home equipment. All right, number four guys is going to be a squat rack and a barbell. Now we're getting a little bit higher in price because a good squat rack is gonna cost you six, 700. You can get them a little cheaper, like three, 400 from Rogue. But with that comes barbells, which are gonna cost you two, $300. Then you've got plate, change plates and weight and heavier bumper plates, which are gonna cost you if not in the thousands of dollars for a robust set of plates. So if you are a smaller person or if you don't require that much weight, it won't be that expensive. But if you're a bigger person, and you need to squat three or four plates, it's gonna be in the thousands of dollars for those, for those plates, those adjustables. This is something I would recommend if you're a lot more serious and you're looking to work out at home for a longer period of time. If you're looking to just have something for a few months and go back to the gym, I would honestly maintain with the bench, dumbbells, doing some kind of sumo squats, split squats, things of that nature. But if you're really looking to invest and stay at home and not go back to a gym, this would be my next option. You can do a lot with barbells, not just squats, deadlifts, bent over rows, things of that nature. Um, you can even do barbell curls. You can do a lot of different movements with this rack. So uh, it would be my next recommendation. It's also really great for compound movements, keeping the body strong from an overall perspective. All right, last but not least is my favorite home gym piece of equipment we have. It is our cable machine. It is so dynamic. You can do so much with it, but it is expensive. This cost us, I 
think in the realm of three grand when it was all said and done between the actual product cost, delivery, assembly. It was solely worth it. I would never trade it back. I think I've gotten 10 times that amount of value out of it with my videos, with my own workouts. Obviously, gym's still being closed here in LA. You see it so much in my workout videos. So I'm very thankful for it. I'm thankful I were able to get it. One caveat to that is there are a lot of machines that are like this cable machine that are also double as like a Smith machine. They have different, like they, the technology now is so crazy what they can do in a small amount of space. So go check out the equipment store if you're gonna like make an investment this big and see what they have, see what works best for you because there's a lot of different variations and a lot of different things that the different machines provide. But the other great thing about these machines is the space requirements. So as you can see, they're basically shaped in a 90 degree angle. So they fit into a corner, like there's very minimal space. Like I can still use this space. Let's say I wanna do like some more dar like barbell work or dumbbell work in this space, I still can use it. It's really minimal, it's kind of tugs the wall. So it's great too if you have minimal space. Obviously check your ceiling height, you don't want this is about seven feet tall. Uh, just over it so you don't want to get uh, this if you have like ceilings that are just barely seven feet because it'd be a really tight squeeze and you're definitely going to be able to do any pull-ups on it but um, this is my final recommendation obviously it's if you are trying to invest in something that you're going to use more long term replacing gym um, and also like I mentioned go and check out your equipment store and there might be one that's a little bit more suitable than you that has more capability than this one specifically all right guys and last thing if you guys are interested in getting some like more hit based intervals. I would suggest these two machines, they're my favorites. We have our Concept 2 rower here, which is about $1,000. It's great for a different interval cardio. You can do 1,000 meter rows, you can do 500 meters, you can do 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. There's so much you can do on these interval wise. And this is the death bike, the assault bike. If you guys have never used one of these, it looks very unassuming, but it is so difficult. The resistance increases as you pedal harder. And it's really, really fun to try or to challenge yourself with different caloric totals, with different intervals. So I would highly suggest this as well if you're looking for something that's not as expensive, let's say, as a Peloton. And it gives you the ability to use your arms at the same time. So it's a really good full body movement as well. So hope you guys love this video. Remember to go subscribe to this page, please. It means so much to me. Hope you guys are loving the content. Without further ado, I'll catch you next time.